Hi, kids! Today, we're going to have a great time completing a clock numbers and shapes board. First, let's look for the number one. To find number one, we need to look for this shape. Can you find it? Is this one? No! What about this one? Great! Let's place it on the board in the right spot. Number one! Now we have to find a rectangle. Does this look like a rectangle? Now we have found our rectangle. And the number two. Do you know what this shape is called? Yes, you are right. It's called a triangle. So this one is the triangle that we were looking for. And it has the number three. Keep going until all the numbers are in place, from 1 to 12. Do you see where each number goes on the clock? Which one comes after number 3? Fantastic job! Number 4 is here, hidden in the square. Hmm, it does look like we have a hexagon right here. Can you help me find it? Yay, we have found the number five. Our clock is quickly getting complete. Can you help me find the next number? Hmm, let's see if you are right. Yes, it's number six. Now we can say that we have completed the half part. It's time to complete the other half. Are you ready for that? Hooray! We have number seven in the ellipse. You are learning both numbers and shapes at the same time. After number 7 is the shape heptagon, which is going to reveal the next number. And the number is 8. Can you say it's 8 o'clock? Fantastic! After 8 is the shape pentagon. Hmm, do you see it? Awesome job! You found number 9! Hmm, does this look like a diamond? Well, awesome, because it's a diamond! There we have it! And it's number 10! We have only two numbers and shapes left. Do you remember what shape is this? You did? That's awesome because the rectangle is very unique. Number 11 is ready to be placed in our clockboard. For the last number, we have saved a unique shape. It's a star, just like you are. And there we have our star and the last number. Number 12. Great job, everyone. We did it. Our clock numbers and shapes board is finished, and it looks fantastic.